I don't think there's a gaming system in the whole entire history of the world that has more accessories than the Nintendo Wii. If you had a Wii remote back in 2006, you could do literally anything you wanted. Want a golf club? Don't worry, your Wii remote can turn into a golf club just like that. Want to rob a bank? Don't worry, your Wii remote can turn into a f***ing gun. Want to have a child? Don't worry, your Wii remote can turn into a baby. What the hell is even that? Yeah, there were definitely some weird Wii accessories back in the day. So I thought it'd be pretty fun to rank the Wii accessories. And how this is going to work is we're going to look at 12 of the most popular Wii accessories out there and place them into one of three categories. They will either go into the good, the bad, or the ugly. Anyways, let's get into this. The Nunchuck. This is probably the most necessary Wii accessory out of all of the ones on this list because it gives the Wii Remote an analog joystick, which is not only convenient for controlling a lot of games, but also, in a lot of cases, outright necessary. The Nunchuck also has motion control capabilities built into it as well, although they're nowhere near as sensitive as the Wii Remote itself, and it has the C and Z button on the back of it as well for some extra controls. Overall, the Nunchuck's a pretty simple accessory, but it is very important for a lot of games on the Wii. So for that reason, it is going in the good. Also, on a side note, a lot of people watching this would probably already know this, but I actually didn't, so here's a fun fact. The design of the nunchuck is basically taken exactly as is from the N64 controller. If you look at the prong with the analog stick on it, it is pretty much the exact same design as the nunchuck. And yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It's probably a commonly known fact, but I definitely didn't know about it until I started researching this video, so I thought I'd just share that as well. The Wii Wheel. This accessory is synonymous with Mario Kart as it's literally on the front cover of the game and was heavily promoted alongside it. The Wii Wheel is an interesting accessory because it has literally no functionality, but it just makes the controller feel so nice when you're actually using the motion controls as a control method in a racing game such as Mario Kart Wii. So I will say this, whilst the Wii Wheel doesn't add any functionality to the Wii controller, I think it makes the Wii controller way more comfortable to hold so for that reason the Wii wheel is going in the good the Wii babysitting mama doll this has got to be the weirdest Wii accessory in existence not only does the doll look a little bit creepy in my opinion but it's also just the most bizarre idea for a Wii accessory I don't know who came up with this but they must have been on some crazy sh so this doll came alongside the Babysitting Mama Wii game, and essentially what you're meant to do with it is put the Wii remote inside the doll, and then as part of the game you'll need to like, rock and hold the baby, at least that's my understanding of it. I'm sorry guys, I haven't actually played this game, and I really have no intention to ever play this game, but yeah, you pretty much just do baby things with the doll, and the Wii motion sensor picks up on what you're doing, and translates that back to the game on the screen but yeah it's just a very very weird accessory so for that reason the wee babysitting mama doll is going in the ugly Wii Sports Equipment. I decided to bundle these all into the one category because they're pretty much the exact same thing. They're just little molds for your Wii Remote to sit in to act like you're holding the equipment of the relevant sport you're playing in Wii Sport. And yeah, these have got to be among the most useless Wii accessories in existence because as you can see with these accessories, they don't actually change the grip you have on the controller itself. They more so just add a little component at the end of the remote, which is meant to emulate the equipment of the sport you're playing and it just adds absolutely no value like at least with the wii wheel it actually altered your grip on the controller so it actually felt like you were steering but when you're using the tennis racket accessory you're still just holding the remote in the exact same way as you would be if you weren't using it it adds absolutely no value to the game and for that reason wii sports equipment accessories are going in the ugly 
The Wii Balance Board. This is an accessory that was predominantly associated with the Wii Fit games, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I love the Wii Balance Board. I think it's such a unique accessory, and it adds a completely new way of controlling games. I remember spending hours back in the day playing the Wii Fit mini games on the Wii Balance Board, and it's honestly just so much fun. The only downside to this accessory is that I would say that the balance controls are a little bit finicky and they can lead to some frustrating experiences in the mini games. But nonetheless, I think the Wii Balance Board is awesome. And for that reason, it is going in the good. The Wii Speak. This accessory was simply just a microphone accessory for the Nintendo Wii, which would allow the user to be able to communicate via voice chat with other people. And overall, that's a pretty good thing to have. However, it wasn't compatible with too many games at all, and isn't really a feature that any games really required or needed. And the microphone quality on this thing is definitely not the best. However, it did come out in 2008, so I will give it a little bit of leniency there. So overall, the we speak is going in the bad. The Wii Motion Plus Adapter. This accessory was essentially just an expansion to the Wii Remote, which allowed it to have way more refined motion sensing capabilities. And further into the Wii's lifespan, this really did become a necessity because as games became more used to the Wii's controller, developers definitely tried to take advantage of the unique control system to make their games as unique as possible. For example, games like Skyward Sword really did rely on the precision of the Wii's motion sensing sensing capabilities to allow it to have the combat system that it did. So over the course of the Wii's lifetime, the Wii Motion Plus was pretty much a necessity and actually ended up being built into future releases of the controller. So without a doubt, the Wii Motion Plus is going in the good. The Wii Classic Controller. This was an accessory for all the nerds out there that don't like motion control. It allowed people to play Wii games using a form factor that is very similar to the controllers that they would be used to. And overall, that is a great accessory to have. However, I do have quite a few problems with the design of this controller, and these are as follows. The analog sticks on this controller have the weirdest placement, they're just way too close together. If you held the left and right analog sticks inward, they would basically be touching each other, which is just kind of weird, I really don't like that. And as well as this, the controller is kind of weird to hold because it doesn't have the arm thingers that stick out on the sides. I'm really not sure what the actual name for that is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And on top of this, to use the controller, you actually have to have it plugged into a Wii remote, which is kind of kind of a good thing and kind of a bad thing because whilst it would be nice to just have the controller be able to function on its own, it also does help in reducing the cost of the controller to make it quite affordable. But either way, I'd still prefer this thing to be able to be played on its own without being plugged into a Wii remote. So for those reasons, the Wii Classic controller is going in the bad. The Wii Classic Controller Pro. This is actually another reason why the Wii Classic controller kind of sucks, because this thing completely outclasses it. It pretty much fixes all of the issues I had with the Wii Classic controller, except for the fact that it still needs to be plugged into the Wii remote, but you know, that's okay. It does everything else it needs to do pretty damn well. It's essentially just a really good controller for the Wii. So for that reason, it's going in the good. The Wii Dance Dance Revolution Dance Pad Controller. Now this is gaming, ladies and gentlemen. What better way to control a game than with the Wii Dance Dance Revolution Dance Controller? All jokes aside, I actually think this thing's pretty cool. However, it does have a few issues with the sensibility of the pads from my understanding. I think the concept of it's cool, and it's just kind of cool that something like this even exists for a Nintendo console. I don't think we'll ever see anything quite like this accessory ever again, so I'm gonna be a bit controversial here and put the Dance Pad Controller in the good. 
The Wii Weights. Now, I don't know how popular these things actually were, but I know for a fact that I used to have some of these growing up. And I think the Wii Weights are a great accessory because they really do enhance the ability to use the Wii as a fitness machine, which is definitely not something I plan on doing, but I think it's cool nonetheless that it really does cater to those people out there that did buy a Wii for that purpose. Because these aren't just gimmicky controllers like you would see with the Wii Sports Bundle. The Wii Weights actually do add weight to them and I can't remember exactly how heavy these things were but if you were using these things alongside the Wii Fit games and actually you know playing the games with the weights attached they do really help with the fitness aspect of the games and I think that's a really cool idea and it's a really effective accessory for that purpose so for those reasons the Wii weights are going in the good. The Wii Zapper. This was probably one of the most heavily marketed Wii accessories out there. Uh, it came with Link's crossbow training as a game to play alongside it. And yeah, I really don't like this thing. Whilst it looks really cool, I find the actual way you hold it when playing a game to just feel really uncomfortable. I would definitely prefer to play games just holding the Wii and Nunchuck by themselves rather than using the Wii Zapper. It feels a lot more natural being able to have the Wii and Nunchuck kind of move separately and individually when playing games so for that reason the Wii Zapper is going in the ugly because I really do think there's no reason to ever use this thing anyways that is going to wrap up today's video I do hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah I'm aware that I definitely did not cover every Wii accessory out there but I do hope I did cover most of if not all of the main ones if there are any other accessories out there that I missed that you guys think should get a mention you should let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys with the next one later.